Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Sunday, March 13th, 2022. Today's puzzle has a title, it's called Body Language. Alright, let's get started. One across. Almost? Hmm. Almost. Is it near? I don't know if that's the right part of speech. Blues group for short? And this is wordplay, so this isn't going to be about a band that plays the blues. There's a hockey team called the Blues, right? So they're going to be in the NHL? Nice. Well, this does start with an N. Interesting. When repeated, old time call to listen? That should be here, because you can say here, here when you want people to listen to what someone is saying, right? Yeah, fully ready to listen. And this is in italics, so I'm thinking that this might be part of the theme. It could be part of our body language theme. Fully ready to listen. Hmm, I'm not sure what to think about this just yet. Loretta who sang, you ain't woman enough to take my man. That should be Loretta Lynn. So it's not here, here. That's interesting. Okay. It's definitely Loretta Lynn. Hmm. I wonder if it's hear ye. Are we dealing with rebuses already? Yeah, I bet we are. Because that would put an ear in a rebus, right? And our theme is body language. That's really funny. Okay. Um... So, fully ready to listen. Is it going to be all ears? Oh my god, are all of these going to be ears? That is so funny. And then this is going to be nearly. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Nearly. Yeah. So these are all going to be ears. That's so funny. I love it. Alright, I wonder if we're going to have different body parts scattered throughout. Yeah, it would be kind of funny if it was like ears up here, eyes, nose, if they kind of went in anatomical order. That would be really funny. So what is this? Came to know old style? Is that going to be learnt with a T? Cold climate cryptids. Yeah, cryptid is a mythological monster that's going to be yetis. So what's our last year here? Bringing in as income. Yeah, that's going to be earning. Okay, let's try and get through this center part up here at the top. The blank they are, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah. Oven setting. Hmm. It seems like that should be broil. Part of a prank? A prank? Hmm. I don't know about this one. Messenger blank? That's messenger RNA. Yeah, that's what's enabled all these amazing vaccines that we've been taking. Walk around at a rest stop, say? Ooh, oh my god. Are all of these gonna be rebuses? <laughs> it's gonna take like 10 minutes to fill all these out. Um, so is this not broil? Hmm. Maybe not all of our body language elements are going to be rebuses. Yeah, maybe some will be rebuses, but maybe this is going to be something else. Walk around at a rest stop, say. I would really want this to be stretch your legs somehow. Stretch one's legs, maybe? I wonder if the letters are going to actually take up more than one space in this case. One's legs. Ooh. If each letter of one's legs took up two spaces, that would actually fit, I think. Um, is this another O? Part of a prank. Hmm. I don't know. Bus stop playwright. Hmm, why do I feel like I've seen this before? Is it like Inga or something? I'm very unsure about that. 
be in store. I think that should be like lay in wait or something. That doesn't quite fit. It's a little too long. Yeah. Can we get this long across? It empties into the Bay of Bengal. I don't know this for sure, but I'm thinking maybe it could be the Ganges River. Yeah, that's the big river in India, right? Hmm, is it Inga? I wonder. They're numbered in Microsoft Excel. That could be Rose. Keen, an equivalent phrase. I think this has to be Nido. Yeah, it's not gonna be Noise, that's for sure. Okay, question that's not one of the five W's. That has to be how. Bit of bad weather on a weather map. I wonder if that could be abbreviated. Could it be T storm for thunderstorm? Yeah. Be in store. Yeah, maybe it starts with a lie. Could it be lie ahead? Yeah. Part of a prank. Oh, it's not like an element of a prank. It's like you're in on it. You're in on the prank. Wow, that was so hard to see. I think that confirms our hypothesis too about stretching one's legs. That's so funny. One's legs. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to do rebuses for all of those. <laughs> I would have had to fast forward through that for you all. Okay, lay blank to, that could be lay siege to. More agreeable, that should be nicer. Wisteria and honeysuckle. I think you could call those creepers. <laughs> That's kind of a funny echo of yesterday's entry, Jeepers Creepers. Let's see if we can work through this corner up here actually. Who me? Another equivalent phrase. This is Miss Piggy's favorite, moi. A very affected moi. Portrayer of the boxer Clubber Lang in Rocky III. Yeah, that's the unforgettable Mr. T. Invitation letters. That should be RSVP. We had that on yesterday's grid too. C30 across. With 12 down, spend much more than a fair price. Ooh, okay, so this is a theme answer. It's in italics. Um, I think it should be pay out the nose. Is that right? Um, that's a little weird though, because there's no A in the nose. Pay out the nose. Oh, you know what? I think a more common phrasing of that idiom might be pay through the nose. That would make sense because pay is literally through the nose. Yeah. Wow, these are so funny. These are like traditional rebuses. Yeah, they're like word puzzles in the more traditional sense. These are both type of rebuses here, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be pay through the nose. That's great. So we have three theme elements already. Yeah, I'm liking this theme density already. Is this gonna be OSHA? government organization with a two-syllable acronym. <laughs> it's a very vague clue, but yeah, I think it must be OSHA. Indo-blank languages? Could that be Indo-Aryan? I think that kind of makes sense. Big consideration for the expecting. Is this expecting a baby? Hmm, big consideration. I want it to be like naming the baby? Could it just be naming? I'm not sure if that's the right part of speech. Is this an M? Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones film franchise for short. That's Men in Black, right? Maybe it is naming. Video game character in a hit 2020 film. Yeah, that was Sonic the Hedgehog. Can we build off of this C? Subjects of some tests. Hmm. Well, we were thinking this might be an I, right? This should be plural, although BS? Downstairs. That should be below, right? Yeah. 
So it has to be plural, but there's no S at the end. Subjects of some tests. Hmm, that one's a little weird. We're not gonna get any more help in this corner either. Let's start fresh from the top here. In case, maybe that could be Lest. Actress Burstyn. I think there's an actress named Ellen Burstyn. If I remember correctly, what some insects and insults can do. Insults. I guess they could sting, maybe. That's a nice little parallel. Primo. That could be tops, probably. Kind of clarinet. Yeah, an alto. Radar spot could be a blip. Department store department. Men's? Oh, yeah. It is going to be naming. Very nice. Okay, that's great. Um, hmm. Let's start building back over here. Yeah, we can build off of these very long legs here. Theodore Blank, AKA Dr. Seuss. Oh man, yeah. What was his actual name? I don't really remember. Belief of roughly 25% of the world's population. Could that be Islam? Yeah. Word that fittingly contains all four different letters of appeal. I guess that could be plea, like a plea in court. That would make sense. Kept in. Hmm. This is pretty ambiguous. This could be about like keeping in emotions. It could be about keeping inside the house, maybe. Emmy winning ward. I believe that's Cela Ward. An actress, yeah. Doughy dinner item. Doughy. Is it like a bread roll? Hmm. That seems so good that I'm kind of suspicious that we might have another little bit of body language over here. Yeah, maybe it crosses bread roll somewhere. Let's see. Arcane matters. Hmm, so these are matters that are little known just to a few people. Ooh, what is that gonna be? Hmm, I'm not sure. Educator writer Blank Johnson McDougald, first African-American female principal in New York City public schools. Oof, that's a tough one. I'm pretty sure I've never heard of this person. Ticket figure? Ticket, ooh. Is it gonna be like ETA maybe? Flat earther. And this is wordplay, so it's not gonna be about somebody that believes that the earth is actually flat. Um, hmm, is it gonna be something that pounds the earth flat or something? Flat earther, I'm not sure where the pun here is gonna be. Like many a stuffed toy. Hmm. Is it like Ursine? <laughs> a lot of stuffed bears. Aware of. Well, it's not gonna be in on it. Hmm. We haven't come across a bit of body language over here. Martini and Rossi product familiarly. I know I've seen this brand name before. Is it alcohol? I don't know. Boy, we had no luck over here. Kept in. Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's try and build back down and then maybe we can come back up. Professor Blank? Ooh, I don't know. Chomping at the bit? That should be eager, right? Yeah. What babies do faster than college students? What is this gonna be? I guess it's gonna be grow. Yeah, you're kind of done growing by the time you're in college. Some posers. Hmm, this feels like it's being tricky. I bet it's not about people that are kind of faking it. Um, maybe it could be people posing for like photographs or paintings or something. Some posers. Is this an S here? Lilies with bell-shaped flowers. Oh, could that be Sago's again? 
Yeah, that was on the puzzle a couple of days ago. That was the state flower of somewhere. I can't remember. Was it Utah, maybe? Hmm. Rachel Zegler's role in 2021's West Side Story. I haven't seen this one. I've seen the original, but I have to guess that it's Maria. Hmm. Some posers. GIS is strange. Smoking spot for short. And this is another wordplay clue. Hmm. Smoking. So I guess they're not talking about a smoker's corner or something. Huh. It has to be a different kind of smoking, right? Smoking spot. Hmm. Moves like muck. I really want this to be oozes. A goose egg? <laughs> I should know all about this. Well, a goose egg can mean zero, right? This is kind of a slang term for zero. So maybe this could be zilch? That's a really fun one. I'm not biased at all. Okay, emergency request. That could be SOS, maybe. Candy bar fillings? I wonder if that's nougats. It's a very popular filling. Quaint contraction? Oh no. Um, I mean, there's a lot of contractions out there. I'm not sure. <laughs> now we're not gonna be able to build into here either. Oh my God. Okay, let's try and get a toehold somewhere. Allow entry. And it's not admit. Hmm. Do we have a body part over here somewhere? On fire. Could that be a flame? That would be on fire. Forehead mark on Hindu women. Aren't those called bindis? Hmm, do I have the wrong name? No, maybe it's a blaze. And then maybe we do have body language over here somewhere. B-I-N-D-I, -I. yeah, that's too long. One cutting down, so to speak. Could that be a dieter? That would be pretty cheeky. Yeah, so we want this to be an N maybe? Petty, okay, here's our body language. Petty, what's another way for saying petty? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe this is admit. Could it be admit somehow? Hmm, city southwest of York. This has to be in England, I guess. Hmm. Quaint contraction. Ooh, this is tricky. I want it to be admit. Um, if it was M I N D Petty Mind. Oh, okay. I just sat here and thought about it for a minute. I'm thinking maybe this is going to be Leeds for the city in England. And then if this was M-I-N-D-E-D, -E that would be minded. Maybe you could be small minded if you're petty. Ooh, that was a tricky one to see. Yeah, so we have rebuses again. Okay, so that means the format of the body language can repeat. So we could possibly have another stretched out piece of body language also. Okay, so this is gonna be minded. This is gonna be admit, bindi, and leads. Um, tizens? Shouldn't that be tisn't? Emergency request. Yeah, maybe this is something else. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Hmm. Uncle, an equivalent phrase. Um, that should be you win, I think, right? If you say uncle, you're giving up. So this is a tow, you're calling for a tow truck. Okay, flatten. That could be raise, like you're flattening a building. Shows scorn toward. Hmm, I want this to be like sneer at or something. Um, 
It has to be present tense. Is this an S? Did nothing. Yeah, that should be sat. Arcane matters, right. Um, maybe this could be esoterra, like something that's esoteric. That's definitely arcane. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress here. It looks like it has to be a roll here. Um, it's not a bread roll though. Hmm, I guess not. Could it be leers at? Leers at. I guess it could be. Hmm. This should maybe be repressed. That doesn't quite fit though, does it? R E P. Yeah, it's a little too short. Hmm. Boy, I really feel like I'm missing a piece of body language in this section. That's interesting. It does seem like this should be an S. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's come back to this section. I don't want to spend too much time poking around in here. Let's see if we can keep building up in this direction. Professor, right. Could this be Professor Emeritus? Ooh, maybe it's Emerita? That would be plural, right? Hmm. Let's see if that's right. Scatter. Could that be strew? You're like scattering seeds. Panache. That has to be flare. Drug agent's seizure. Maybe that could be a stash. A stash of drugs, yeah. Took down in a way. Hmm. Is that going to be slew? Yeah, like you slew your arch nemesis or something like that. Okay, take by force. That should be rest, I think. That's a nice word there. Let's out. That has to be freeze. Director Craven is Wes Craven. Yeah, he's directed some of my favorite movies. Okay, is this another body part? It's not. Question following a clever trick. <laughs> so this is not a question from the person that saw the trick. This is a question from the person that performed the trick. I think it should be, see what I did there. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's really funny. Okay. See 69 across. Okay, this is a piece of body language here. With 74 across, gesture of approval. Um, it's going to be something on something, right? Um, gesture of approval. Is it like a tap on the head? It seems like it should start with the here. Is a tap on the head really a gesture of approval? No, it's not. But a pat on the head is. That's a much better answer. Pat on the head. Very good, yeah. Yeah, that's a classic traditional rebus there. Leave gobsmacked. Um, is that stupefy? <laughs> that's a fun piece of fill. Fly around Africa. Ooh, this is super tricky. This is not about flying around Africa in an airplane. This is an insect that's around Africa. The tsetse fly. Nice, okay. Wood strip? That could be lath. Yeah, they used to build walls out of lath and plaster. Wood and plaster. Peak in the Odyssey. Hmm, this is a mountain? I don't know if I know this one. Vapes lack? I guess that's gonna be ash. Yeah, you don't have ash with a vape. And I suppose that gets rid of the need for a silent butler as well. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know that one. One of the five W's. Okay, so this is gonna be one of the five W's that we were introduced to over in this clue here. I guess this is gonna be when? What is this one? Deseret newsreader typically? It's looking like it's gonna be a Utah. Somebody from Utah, yeah. Maybe somebody that's familiar with Sago flowers. 
So what is this? S-T-A-H? Sudden sharp pain. No, that should be a stab, right? Ooh, okay, so this is gonna be pat on the back. Yeah, that works very nicely still. Have seconds and thirds and fourths and... Uh, I guess that would be eat a ton. That would be a lot of food. Instruments with end pins. Hmm, and it has to be plural. Is it gonna be the plural of cello? Is it gonna be celli? Or is it cella? I don't know. Ending with bear or bull. Could it be bearish, bullish? It's celli? <laughs> That's so funny. Some sources of leafy greens. Sources. Is it gonna be kales? O's, but not P's or Q's. Hmm. Is it T's? Is that right? O's? Is that a kind of T? That doesn't really make sense to me. Sound, e.g. That could be an example of an inlet, right? A sound can be a body of water. What's this along across? Self-titled rock album of 1958. It looks like it's gonna be Buddy Holly. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be myth. Oh yeah, this is tricky, it's not plural. This is gonna be the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, that's a nickname for the Orioles. There's no P's or Q's though. That's very clever. Just in time for baseball season too. Safe better. That could be a hedger. Yeah, you hedge your bets. Feudal land, that could be a fief, like a fiefdom. F on a gauge. I guess that's gonna be full. You have a full tank of gas. Vegas venue with an iconic fountain. Oh man, I really don't know Vegas very well. Is it the Bellagio? That is a resort in Vegas, right? Former baseball commissioner, Bud. More baseball, all right. Yeah, that's Bud Seelig. Vikings foes. Hmm, who did the Vikings fight? Or is this Vikings as in football Vikings? I don't know. IT help center often? Is that going to be the call desk? Yeah. Rocker Rose? That should be Axel Rose. Oh, I guess this is gonna be Saxons. They are talking about historical Vikings. One reporting to an underboss. Oh man, they're talking about mafia here, aren't they? Could that be a capo? I think that's some kind of mob rank, yeah. Oh, hmm, let's just skip this one. What's this long across here? Insincere as a remark. Ooh, okay, so this is another bit of body language. Insincere. It's gotta have something to do with your tongue, right? Um, it looks like we have a tongue here. How do you say that, insincere? It's not silver tongue, right? Hmm. Yes or no follower. Is that gonna be yes sir No sir -y? Is it two R's? I think it is. A lemon or cheese product. Hmm. Greek performance venue. That's gonna be an Odeon. Nice, okay. Fair hiring initials. I think this is gonna be EEO. Is it equal employment opportunity? I'm very unsure about this acronym actually. I think it might be an E, let's see. Nauseate, that should be sicken, right? Um, I kind of want this to be like talking out of both sides of your mouth or something. That's not right, it has to have a tongue in there somewhere. Hmm. Oh, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be tongue-in-cheek. There we go. So it's the word tongue 
inside the word cheek. Oh, that's super tricky. It was E-E-O. I have a feeling I got the meaning of the acronym wrong though. I think it's something close to that. Let's just throw the C in here. C blank airport? Is that gonna be C TAC? Yeah, that's the Seattle Tacoma airport, right? Counterpart of adios. In Spanish you say hola, right? For hello. Idiosyncrasy. That could be a tick. What's this long down? Easy opportunity for a basket. Hmm. Is it going to be an open shot? This looks a little strange with an O in here. Some posers. Shouldn't that be yogis? Like you're doing yoga poses? So this is going to be esoteric. <laughs> that is very esoteric. Okay, let's put in yogis. Let's put in open shot. Letters that might change your mind. And this is more wordplay. Um, so I guess this is not letters in the mail that would change your mind. I think this is probably going to be LSD. Yeah, because that'll cause an altered mental state that would literally change your mind. Yeah. So we have a deli for a substation. Another little bit of wordplay. Yeah, it's not an electrical substation. Very funny. Bankrupt, ooh, another little bit of body language. Bankrupt, hmm, I don't know. Let's try and get some crossing help. Promotion, is it swag? I'm not sure about that. En vos blank, allowed in Spanish? Ooh, this is unfamiliar to me. Yeah, jaunty? It's another way of saying jaunty. Hmm. Fivers. So this is a slang term for $5 bills. Could it be Abe's? That's interesting with the B at the end there. Hmm. Blank, can you hear me? Oscar nominated song from Yentl. Oh man, I know I've heard this before. Oh, I don't know if I know it. Bizarre. That could be outre. That's a tough one. It's not swag. Promotion. Hmm. UG, that's interesting. I don't think this is going to be Rebus's. Hmm. Jaunty. Could that be Pert, maybe? I'm not sure if that's right. Could this be Papa? Yeah, and then this could be a plug. Yeah, kind of advertising promotion. What? This looks like it's gonna be belly up. Oh my God, it's the word belly running up. <laughs> that's so tricky. Okay, so this is gonna be Alta and Vos Alta. Oof, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. Heard in court, that's gonna be tried. Who might be on the trail? A hiker, probably. Irritable, could be crabby? No, that's too long. Hmm, it's not cranky. One holding things together, perhaps. Holding things together. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. Are we gonna have to start fresh here? Kristen of Bridesmaids. That's Kristen Wig with two eyes. Hmm. Holding things together. I don't know. Oh, okay. We've got some more body language here with 111 down in cooperation. Hmm, it looks like this is maybe gonna be the same word repeated. Is that right? Is it gonna be side by side? Ooh, there we go. Side by side, that's great. Old Icelandic work. That's gonna be an Edda. Yeah, that's like epic poetry of Iceland. 
alternative to Wranglers, we're talking jeans. That's going to be Lee's. So that leaves us with gas. Option for a range. Yeah, you could do gas or electric. Hmm. Is this going to be a dowel, like a wooden rod? And this is cross for irritable. Yeah. Wow. That was tricky for dowel. That definitely did not cross my mind. All right, so let's venture back into this section here. Um, I guess it looks like it doesn't have any body language here. Yeah, we just need to find a little bit of a toehold somewhere. Ooh, okay. I've been staring at this section for a little while. I think I might have some stuff figured out here. Let's take a look. I don't think it's Lear's at. I think that was holding us back here. Um, I was thinking this could maybe be suppressed for kept in, like information you're keeping suppressed. And then maybe this could be spits at instead. I think maybe this doughy dinner item could be a hot roll. Yeah, that was really hard to see. And then many a stuffed toy I think could be plush. Yeah. This is tricky, this ticket fig. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's a speeding ticket, not a ticket you'd get for an airplane. And maybe it could be MPH. That would tell you how far over the speed limit you were going. And then I guess aware of could be hip two. Yeah. I think this might be Osti. Um, I think that's short for Osti Spumante. I think it's a drink. I think it's some kind of fizzy alcoholic drink. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, that's what I think that is. And then Flat Earther, I think is going to be a Mesa. Yeah, it's like a mountain with a flat top, a Flat Earther. <laughs> Ugh, oh, that was so hard to see. And then this is going to be Elise Johnson McDougald. Yeah, I definitely have not heard of her. That's a really tough name. Um, I don't know if a lot of people are going to know the name of a principal in the New York City School District. Yeah, that's very niche knowledge. It's a little bit of esoteric. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but let's throw that E in there and see if that'll do it for us for this puzzle full of body language. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 53 minutes. That's a pretty decent time for us. I think that's about average. These body language rebuses were all really fun. Fully ready to listen, all ears. That was so funny when we hit this one and I was thinking it was still going to be rebuses. <laughs> I was dreading putting all those in. Thankfully, we got stretch one's legs instead, a lot easier to put in. The only other crossword rebus we had was small-minded for petty. Yeah, but we got a lot of other fun ones too. This more traditional rebus, pat on the back. We had side by side. We had pay through the nose. That might be my favorite one. That one's really clever. Pay through the nose. And then we also had tongue in cheek here at the bottom. Yeah, these were great. They all kind of had a different gimmick, which was really, really fun. Each one you hit, you kind of had to figure out exactly how it was working. No one of these was exactly like another one of them. Yeah, I really appreciated that. Oh, we also had this belly up one down here too. Yeah, there was a lot of them. Yeah, the theme density was pretty nice here. We had some nice longer answers today. I kind of liked esoteric. It's kind of funny how meta that is. It's a very esoteric word. I liked stupefy a lot. See what I did there is really funny. The Ganges River is pretty cool, and it was fun seeing creepers again two days in a row. We had some good wordplay clues too. I ended up liking this one a lot. Some posers. That was a nice little misdirection there. Of course, I loved this goose egg clue for zilch. And tsetse for fly around Africa was pretty nice and tricky too. All right, well, I think we all deserve a pat on the back for solving that Sunday puzzle full of body language. 
I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>